What you guys today we're taking a look at controlling Windows updates with one click. You can do this on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So what's the big problem? Well, a lot of people don't want to be forced updates on their system. And you can see here we've got updates ready to come down and be installed. Some people might want to stay on a particular version of Windows until all the bugs are fixed on other versions. So I'm on 23H2 here. Some people might want to hold on to that instead of being forced to upgrade to 24H2. So rather than go into the registry or into group policy editor, which in some cases, if you're a Windows home user, you won't have the group policy editor and you would have to do this inside the registry. This is where this simple solution that I'm gonna show you for people that want to take control of Windows updates and be able to stop Windows updates altogether or just even pause them for a period of time. So you can also take care of some telemetry with this particular method as well. So let's take a look at the Windows version we've got here. I'm on Windows 11 23 H2, but this will work with any other version of Windows 11 and Windows 10 as well. So let's take a look at what we can do with this particular script that we've got here and also registry files. It's called Windows Personalization Utility. There's three different parts to it. So basically there's a, a WP utility, which is your Windows Personalization Utility, which is like a batch file. And then there's two files in there to enable and disable uh, the Windows updates. It breaks it all down here. He says about here. And you can see what it actually does. The uh, Win Windows personalization utility, disable and enable Windows updates, delete and clean up lingering Windows update files and increase disk space, back up your entire registry, remove Windows telemetry and tracking, and also uninstall Windows crackware, bloatware, applications, install apps such as PowerShell 7, uh, Cortana, etc. And it's also got requires elevated uh, admin privilege privileges or permissions uh, to run and you're also available by downloading the file from this area here which is your releases and then you've got the registry scripts right here disable enable windows updates uh, requires no elevation pri privileges here and also it is available for download here so you can read all about it on their website and then basically all you need to do here is download the latest version which i'll do here and then i'll run i'll show you both of these so you get an idea of what it actually does and also uh, depending on what uh, you're trying to do with your actual system but this is what it will look like something like this right here so let's go ahead to the download page and download the actual uh, scripts and uh, also the tool so this is it right here down the bottom you can download the windows update pause reg file and you can download the windows update unpause reg file and there's also the WP utility batch file right here. You might get your browser blocking these because they're actual extension files like .batch file, .reg file, and the browser will just generally normally block these, but you can keep them anyway and keep them to download. They're perfectly safe to download. They're just uh, batch files and registry files. So let's take a look here. Let me just make the view bigger so you can see. So this is the WP utility, and we have the two registry files right here. Very simple and easy to do. For the WP utility, you can run that as administrator and these you can just click on them and install them. So let me just quickly open this up so you can actually see it's just a registry file. It will make a bunch of registry edits for you without you having to go into the registry and edit all of the registry and put these entries in like I've made videos about in the past. So this will do it all for you in one click. You just click on it and basically it will go ahead and add all these entries into the registry and this will pause the updates for you i'll show you in action a little bit later on in the video and then we also have the wp utility right here let me just edit this file so you can see what's inside i've looked inside here it's just a basically a bunch of code uh, in here which is safe to use and it's just doing a bunch of things to pause the windows updates as well so and remove telemetry just like any sort of batch file or program that you're downloading like chris titus tech it's using the same type of stuff in the back end uh, but it's just a, a fancy gui interface that he's got and this is just a raw batch file they do the same thing really it just doesn't have a fancy gui 
But anyway, that is the files that you've got right here. We'll start off with the WP utility and I'll run this so you can actually have a look. There's more content inside here, but I'm just going to, I've been through here and had a little quick look. It all seems to be okay. So let's go ahead and I'll right click on this batch file and run it as administrator. Say yes to the user account control. And this will open up the command prompt box right here. And you can see WP utility. And right here, you've got some options. So you can either enable, disable uh, Windows updates. You can disable the Microsoft telemetry, or you can remove update files and you can manage update services on here as well. And you can back up the registry as well. There's some other little few areas like help and support and also the quit button right there and you can pick an option. So let's go ahead and do that on here. What we'll do is we'll start off with the registry backup first. So I'll quickly show you that in action. All it's doing really is it's saving you from opening up the registry and backing up the registry yourself. It's doing it all for you. Uh, we're just clicking on one little uh, entry here and pushing enter, it's that simple. So now we have the registry backed up. Let's go ahead and disable uh, the Microsoft telemetry here. We can type in free and press enter. And this will then go ahead and disable all the Microsoft telemetry on the system. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. Very simple and easy to do. That is now done. As you can see there, all the information is on the screen. And once it's finished, we can return back to the main menu by just pressing any key on your keyboard. And now what we can do is we'll go ahead and disable the Windows updates. So let's go ahead and type in number one for disable Windows updates. And you'll see a load of text going up on the screen here. This is what this uh, batch file is doing. And you can see it's doing a bunch of stuff right here. I'm just going to let that finish. And once it's finished, we will have a disabled Windows updates I find this method a little bit aggressive and really pausing the updates is probably the way to go using the registry files. But I wanted to show you it just so you understand. This is actually physically uh, disabling the Windows updates on Windows 11 for those people that want to do it for some strange reason. But again, you can see it's been successful and now we can check to see what it looks like. So let me go to settings here, then go to Windows updates and you can see Windows updates has been fully disabled on this system. So if you're one of those people that really want to disable Windows updates to this level, then this is basically what you can do. You can re-enable it, and I will do that to show you that it does actually reverse back to a working system if you push enable Windows updates using this batch file as well. But this is for people that are really uh, wanting to disable uh, Windows updates altogether. So let's go ahead and what we'll do here is I'll quickly zoom in here and we'll take a look and we'll go ahead and enable the Windows updates right here. So let me go ahead and do that right here. And you can see, press any key to enter it's back to the main menu. So we'll go ahead and do that right here and we'll take a look at the Windows updates right now. Now we've re-enabled them. Go to Windows updates and there you go. They're all back again back up and running. So if you wanted to test whether it works, I'll go ahead and I'll do all the testing for you. So you don't have to go around and do that. So let me go ahead and what we'll do is we'll download and install the Windows updates after we've disabled them and enabled them to make sure it hasn't broken the system. And again, it's just now downloading all of these right here. And once this is done, it's going to want to restart the PC and install all these updates on the system. So I'll let that go ahead and go quickly restart the PC. And you can see the updates are going in perfectly fine and the system's working perfectly fine. And we're back at the desktop. I've speeded this process up as to not bore you to tears watching Windows updates go through on the system. And we should be back at the desktop anytime soon. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the Windows update section right here. Go back into settings, go Windows updates, and you can see everything is working fine. So everything went in there fine. So if you want to pause your Windows updates, let's take a look at the registry keys that they have on offer as well. If you're one of those people that don't really want to go into the registry, we can disable Windows updates right here by running the registry uh, key, which is probably going to be your best option in my personal opinion, rather than completely disabling Windows updates, because this will pause updates. And if we go back in, you can see it has already added those in updates paused until 31st of the 12th, 2051. So that's 
quite a long time. But if you wait in and you don't want to be forced for 24 H2, you can use this method and you can change some of the settings here if you wanted to. And you can resume updates anytime by clicking on the resume updates. And that will then pull down the Windows updates for you on that system. Very simple setup. This is probably my preferred method rather than using the more aggressive uh, batch file, which is going to actually disable them altogether. This is probably your best route because you can enable at any time and pull those updates down when you're ready to update your PC. But I'll quickly click on the resume updates here just to show you that it will just go back and start updating Windows. And you can see it's already uh, undone the paused updates and it's now starting to check for updates and it will pull those down if there's any there to be updated on this PC. I think this method is quite useful for people that are using Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home PCs and they want to pause stuff uh, for a period of time, especially on Windows 11 where 24H2 is full of bugs and some people are having issues, they might want to stay on 23H2 for a while. They can quickly pause them using that method and then update when they're ready to update a little bit later on. I'm still on 23H2. You have up until November uh, 2025 before it becomes end of life. So you've got plenty of time on 23H2. You will still receive all of the security updates and feature updates for that as well. If you wanted the feature updates, you can do. I've just got that, all of it paused. I just have security updates coming down on my system. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description if you haven't joined the Discord server. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.